Good evening. Welcome to the numbers, guys. Pick for the week uh, update, actually from last week's pick, P-O-M, Pepco Holdings, uh, to the short side. Uh, we haven't updated this pick in a while. Actually, we've been trading in a pretty tight range. Um, what we're looking at here is the daily chart. Uh, you can see, again, uh, what we discussed last week in a couple of videos uh, and why we made the pick. You can see the uptrend in price for the last few weeks. Uh, and the indicators that we're looking at, the MACD, Force Index, and Money Flow Index, uh, all showing bearish divergence. Uh, you can see the trend lines down. And again, price is going up. So uh, still uh, looking at a uh, fairly bearish stance on the trade when you look at the daily chart. Again, uh, since we got in the trade last week at $17.93, you can see we've been trading in a pretty tight band uh, right here. We did get as low as um, 17 52, I believe, uh, at some point last week, but we've really been bouncing right off of the 20-day uh, uh, EMA right here. Haven't been able to break below that, but um, uh, we're getting uh, pretty close here in, into a band. We we did hit the uh, key resistance point up here. The stock had set uh, high a couple of weeks ago at 1807. Uh, didn't make its way up to about 1811 last week. Uh, again bounced off of that resistance level. I believe it was 1806 last uh, Friday. Got as high as I think 1805, 1806 uh, yesterday and, and again failed to break through uh, that key resistance line. Our stop, if you remember, we initially set at 1818. You can probably bring that stop into about 1815. Uh, but this stock, again, looking at the indicators, uh, hopeful that this is going to pull down uh, uh, below this trend line and start to uh, to make its way towards the 50-day uh, EMA 1716. Our first price target we moved up to uh, 1752. Uh, you know, maybe going to look to to make it uh, somewhere in that uh, middle of the 20 period channel 1753 uh, or so level as, as the first price target, and then uh, looking at a second price target. Uh, right around initially it was 1708 but now maybe because the 50-day uh, EMA is creeping up a little bit maybe make that around the 1716 uh, level so uh, like to take some profits off here we're still gonna stay in this trade uh, and see uh, see where it goes again because of the uh, the bearish nature on the charts down here uh, still think this is a viable trade and again uh, from a risk standpoint uh, looking at uh, close to a three to one risk reward ratio given the uh, price targets and the stops we're setting uh, real quickly just take a look at the 60 minute chart again you can see some of the trend lines uh, here that we've been bouncing off of uh, on the 60 minute chart over the last several days uh, and here you can more clearly see the uh, key resistance level that the stock had set again 1807 I believe it got to 1811 here 1810 might have been the close uh, 1806 or so yesterday and uh, did get just above 18 uh, today 1801 uh, but did fail to uh, to break through uh, resistance so we're going to keep an eye on it uh, you can see again it uh, is bouncing off some resistance here on this trend line uh, but uh, also on the 60 uh, minute chart you can see that the uh, based on the MACD here uh, again forming some uh, bearish divergence uh, the slope is a uh, downward path uh, also here in the, uh, the, the last several hours a uh, day or so you can see some slight downward uh, movement on the money flow index so going to keep an eye on the trade we uh, look forward to updating you uh, this week and hope to uh, exit this trade in a profitable way by uh, by Friday uh, again take care uh, good luck trading and we'll speak to you soon